Most people don't trust the government for marijuana information. A federally funded uh, study shows. And this was a study that was partially funded by NIDA, the National Institute of Drug Abuse. And they surveyed 1,161 people. Now, this is not a large survey. Molly and I had 15,000 patients. And so we had lots of input from lots of people. Um, and this is a small cohort. But it did point out some interesting things that when people want information about weed, they go to the government, you know, 4.7% of the time. They go to their medical provider 9.3% of the time. They go to bud tenders 8.6% of the time. Those you would think would be out there to be reliable sources of information. The public's going, now nah, we don't trust you. But they go to family and friends 35.6% of the time and websites 33.7% of the time. Now, this information is not surprising to me because um, I, I, I've been voting since before the DEA was founded. Mm -hmm. And I know Damn. that what the DEA did, yeah, I'm old as dirt, yeah. And my eye line, my eye, I gotta pull my eyes up to see is my eyeliner. I thought you were gonna say eyeliner. I love you, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, uh, hey, it's, it's, the, your eyeliner, your guy liner is on fleek, as the kids say. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> hey, I get a lot of mulligans because I'm older than dirt. Hey, now, what I've seen through the history of the DEA is that they would not fund a study that would show anything positive about weed. Hey, and if somebody did, and this is a guy named Taskin at UCLA in the 80s, he studied weed. The DEA said, go out there and study it on the lungs, see what it does. He came back and said, it's, it's healthier to breathe, to smoke weed than it is to breathe the air in L.A. Oh, my God, the DEA lost their mind. We'll never give you another study. But that's what we saw coming out decade after decade from the government, blatant lies or just shaving the truth. Oh, there's a reason why people don't trust the government. Now, when I met Molly, she was still in medical school. And, and we talked extensively about what they studied in neurophysiology. None of it was the endocannabinoid system. And today, or actually as of 2016, the study reports only 9% of medical schools had cannabis-specific curriculum in medical school, despite the fact that that physicians are clamoring for more information about this. Now, the endocannabinoid system is well known. You know, CB1, CB2 the receptors, you know about anandamide, A, 2AG, ghrelin. There's a lot of things that physicians should know coming out of medical uh, cannabis because a whole lot of people are smoking weed. I mean, they've got 27% of this study smokes weed daily or at least regularly. So if you're not studying this, you're not doing a service to your patients. Paul Armento, who's the deputy director of Normal, just railed against this because we've all seen this for years. If, you, if you're a physician and you're not staying up to date on something that that percentage of your patient is doing, you are derelict in your duties. You're violating your Hippocratic Oath. But when you look around for reasonable, um, mandatory medical education, you just don't find the studies out there. You don't find the classes. So we're stuck in this place where most people go to their family and friends for, for medical information and their family and friends, they don't know what they're talking about. What kind of information are you getting? There's a giant hole out there in the information and somebody should be filling this void. I've advocated for my clients that have dispensaries. You should put in your dispensary information by medical professionals and know what they're talking about so people can sit down and not listen to a bud tender not have their uncle bill or their aunt judy tell them about weed but get medical professionals to know what they're talking about and they're out there giving you reasonable information because people who use weed unless they're using it specifically for for medical purposes don't consider themselves medical users but most people will use weed for medical purposes, at least some of the time. So there's a, a great effort out there to not get the information out. And I have to point to the government and to these medical schools as the culprits that are keeping the information away from people who would be putting the information out. Nurse practitioners, physician's assistant, physicians, psychologists, psychiatrists, they should all be trained in the endocannabinoid system 
keep up on the latest of what's going on with cannabinoids use in the system, what it's used to treat for. Otherwise, we have a giant hole in the information out there, and I don't see how this is going to get fixed unless we fill that void. I'm going to throw this back at you. What do you guys think? Surprise, surprise. The people don't trust the government. Yeah. For good reason, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not surprised by this. At, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised by this at all whatsoever. I mean, I don't think people in general just <laughs> trust the government. And so why would they trust the government in something that they've been lying to them about for years upon years, decades? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and, I mean, why, why would you? Why would you trust uh, Donald Trump when he's been lying to you about everything? You know what I'm saying? Like, the things it. just don't make sense. Stop it! D people, people trust Donald Trump gonna, is not considered a government like that. that. Donald, hey, well, why Donald you, Trump is anti-establishment, bro. So stop, stop your ridiculousness. Yeah. Why would you trust he's anybody? Also pretty mendation. He lies to you for years and years. I don't trust Kamala Harris. I don't trust Donald Trump. I don't trust none of them motherfuckers. You we know what I'm saying? Like. Did you know that when you did you know that when you come on the show high that your mouth and your eyes are the same shape? <laughs> I'm not I'm not high. Rico, we all, we, we, we we always we we have always known you have major trust issues, Rico. We we've always known that. I do, man. I was abandoned as a child. You See know what I'm saying? saying? I yeah. find my own way. Mm -hmm. I trust me. I trust my heart. I trust my soul. And I trust everything that I uh, that I tell myself every single morning when I go through my affirmations. Jason, mm -hmm. do you trust yourself? A hundred percent. I trust ergo myself. Soon. There you go. Yeah. Self love. Thank therefore, you are. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Also, in God, I trust, and that's probably pretty much about it. Yeah. Because other than that, I pretty who's, much trust who's, people. Who's your God? Who's your God? Hold Jason? on, hold on. I mean, pretty much other than that, I trust people pretty much as far as I can throw them. And since I'm disabled, it's not that far. God is Jesus's daddy. <laughs> well, people lie so much anymore. You just wonder: Does anybody tell the truth? Mm -hmm. There's no. the problem. No, especially if they were born male. What? If that's not projectionism, I don't know what is. Why are you so triggered, Jason? Because I'm just, I'm just shocked and appalled that she would even say something like that with the amount of Why lies. The You've been my friend for like six or seven years. Why the hell are you shocked and appalled? I am shocked and appalled. Appalled Jason, maybe, you're... but shocked not really, mm -hmm. right? Shocked. Jason is a Jason is a Sector of women everywhere. 100%. Jason, you know my ex. You know why I think all men lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Numbers don't lie. Hey, we're not all like Trigger. that, Jenny Beth. Come Trigger. On. Trigger. That's Trigger. what they always tell me right before they're just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Anyhow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I don't I know. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, here, the, the, thing, the things, the irony of this uh this article is is you know most people don't trust the government for marijuana information a federally funded study show so we trust this <laughs> this government funded study are you well, we trust I, I like what we you don't did have there. anything beyond well, we don't have anything beyond preclinical trials so how the fuck are we supposed to trust the information the government's putting out like that's why when i was pregnant and i wanted to see like if i needed to actually stop using cannabis like full stop mm -hmm. i looked at studies from canada i looked at studies from israel i looked at studies from couple countries that actually put the time into studying and putting out the information they find instead of looking at the study long enough to find something that they want to skew to fit their narrative and then put the round hole into the square the square peg into the round hole and say this is what it is because that's what we're doing with this information so the government has bred this distrust because they're using it as for prohibitionist purposes mm -hmm. so i mean yeah i'm shocked yeah, the first thing I do when I see any of these studies, I just look. I look at who's funding them, and I make my decision, uh, I'm, uh, leaning one way or the other, uh, seeing who where that money's coming from. Just follow the money, and um, nine out of ten times, you're gonna find out what the answer is. Mm -hmm. so, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't our, put these, these polls. Some of our biggest anything. findings back in the day were that uh, people stop or reduce their pain medication when they have adequate supplies of cannabis. They cut or reduce their anti-anxiety medication, their sleep medication. There are a lot of pharmaceuticals people just walked away from willingly. And when you are a threat like that to the pharmaceutical company's bottom line, and you may not know who's funding these studies or who's pulling the strings, mm -hmm. but you don't get useful information out of the government. This study points out that most patients and physicians think that cannabis should be a pain medication paid for by the fucking insurance companies. 
And shout out to the C word with a big old super chat who says all humans lie except me. I don't. Uh, know, I don't know. I don't know if Seward is referring. Survey to me says that or, was a lie. Or referring. No, to she's you. not referring to you. I think he was. He would say except Jason Beck. Beck. I think it was. I, I would agree I with that. Yeah, yeah, all humans lie except for me. I, I agree with that one. Yeah, I don't lie. Yeah, yeah me either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's those lies? The checks in the mail and. Uh... I won't do what in your mouth and the only the only no, time on. the only the only time I lie, Dale, is when I'm lying down to go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a yeah. lie. We're taught from a kid that you you tell little white lies and shave the tooth because if you tell grandma her breast stinks, she's gonna slap you. So you don't say that kind of stuff. You just learn to not tell the whole truth. It's one of the problems we have with society versus a court, where in court you don't get to shave the truth. You get mm -hmm. thrown in jail or get held guilty of perjury if you don't tell the whole truth. And most of us can't think enough to tell the whole truth. We just tell lollygag little stories, and every once in a while we'll say what actually is the truth. The rest of it's just horseshit. We tell stories all the time. Most information's worthless. And uh, we put it out all day anyway. And speaking about lies, Vermont Alternative in the chat says labs lie, loud weed doesn't. Yeah, um, I think we can. Your loud weed is also not screaming. There's Eagle Twenty on me. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it so, had Eagle 20, I don't think it'd be that loud. It could still be loud. It might it, it have, you know, come on. Mm. Russets are a hell of a drug. I think it would be screaming yeah. as opposed to being I loud. I love a bug. Mm -hmm. well, Let's fair all enough. do cat core testing everywhere. 